This episode of CleaningBiz.tv is made possible by the Janitorial Store's newsletter service. Are you looking for ways to stay in touch with prospects and clients? Newsbreak and Better Home Living newsletters are the perfect solution for staying in touch. Pre-populated with content they'll love, the newsletters can also be personalized for your cleaning business. Visit the links below the video to see sample issues. I'm Jean Hansen, and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. When you have the opportunity to meet with a cleaning prospect, it's your chance to demonstrate your understanding of their frustrations. But rather than monopolizing the conversation with your expertise at cleaning, Ask a specific question that gets to the bottom of their true frustrations with the companies they've worked with in the past. Now, I'm not talking about getting them to badmouth the competition. I'm talking about getting them to reveal what they're really looking for in a cleaning service provider. There's a simple question you can ask that can get to the heart of the issues they've experienced in the past with cleaning companies. And that question is, what kinds of frustrations are you experiencing with regards to keeping your building clean? Or if you're a residential cleaning company, you can substitute the word home for building. This is a good open-ended question that gets them to open up. It will also help you to direct the discussion to what you already know about the frustrations prospects typically face. Let's say your prospect is a property manager. You could direct the discussion by saying something like, Based on my work with a number of other property managers, I find that two of the top issues they're facing are number one, finding a company that provides consistent cleaning services. Most companies start out great, but after a couple of months, the work goes downhill. And number two, finding a cleaning service that doesn't have a revolving door of employees cleaning their locations. Which of these two issues is having the biggest impact on your ability to manage the building? Can you see how asking a good open-ended question can lead them into a discussion where you can showcase your understanding of their frustrations? When directing your discussion in this way, it also shows the prospect that you work with other people just like him. Now the caveat here is that your company needs to have solutions to these issues. If you have your own problems with consistency and employee turnover, then you must make it a priority to address that in your company. The last thing you want to do is make promises you can't keep. When you ask thought-provoking questions of your prospects and then follow up with what you already know from your experience with other clients, you're sure to make an impression on that prospect that will get him moving in the direction of becoming your next client. That's it for today's show. If you're looking for ways to stay in touch with prospects and clients, then Newsbreak or Better Home Living Newsletter could be the perfect solution for you. Visit the links below the video to see sample issues. I'm Jean Hansen, and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time.